Hey everyone, welcome back to another Playground Sessions piano tutorial. I'm Phil, I'll be your teacher for the day, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play a song you voted on. This one's called Comptine d'une autre aide. And guys, I don't speak French, I promise that's probably not how that's supposed to be pronounced, so my apologies. But this is from the movie Amelie, which is a great movie, great soundtrack. And so I'm going to be showing you the intermediate level main theme from the beginning of this tune, and it goes like this. One, two, set, go. Alright, so I got 100% and by the end of this lesson, you guys are going to have the tools and the knowledge you need to get 100% on your own interactive Playground Sessions apps at home. And if you don't have the Playground Sessions app yet, you're really missing out. Guys, we're doing a free trial right now. You can tap this card right here that says free trial and you can learn more about that. You got 30 days to try it with no payment up front, so check that out. But in the meantime, let's dig into this lesson. I'm actually gonna start with the left hand first, and we'll start with the intro to this song, which is just left hand. And then we get into the first main section with that right hand melody. The left hand part from the intro just continues on underneath. So, without further ado, let's just jump right in, starting with this left hand part. So here, the notation on our screen shows four measures, we're resting in our right hand. So this is truly just the left hand part for the intro. It's four bars, and we're gonna start with an E with our third finger. That, of course, tells us we're in a C position with our pinky on C and our thumb on G. We're not ever gonna play that C, though, not in this section. So we're gonna toggle in our first measure between E and G. Next measure, we're going to drop that E down to a D. Now next measure, keep that D the same, but drop the G down to an F. But hold on, not an F, natural. It's actually going to be an F sharp. So don't forget, our key signature, located just to the left of the time signature, 4-4, four, four, tells us that there are only one sharp in this music, and that's going to be F. All Fs are sharp automatically. So here we're going to actually keep the D the same, but move the G down to an F sharp. And the final measure is going to be the same thing again. So again it goes E, that's E minor, then down to D, that's G over D chord. Now move the G down to F sharp, there's a D chord. And we'll do the same thing for the final measure. Okay, so once you've got that down, let's go ahead and try to play it more in time and actually up to tempo for what the normal speed of this song is supposed to be, more or less. Okay, so I'm going to cue up a metronome now and we're going to try to play this part in time. One, two, set, go. E, G. Now D, G. D, F sharp. And again. And that's it guys. So if you just repeat that a few times in a row, you're gonna have it for this whole next section when we introduce the right hand melody. And that's what we're about to do right now. All right, so our first notes, G, F sharp, G, then move up with our fourth finger, B, C, B. One. So that rhythmic little phrase there is going to repeat throughout the first half of this section. The notes we use are going to change a little bit, but the rhythms are going to stay pretty consistent. So the second measure goes like this. One and two and three and four and. 
Same rhythmic pattern, right? But this time the notes are F sharp, G, F sharp, G, A, G. Next measure is almost the same as the first. Again, same rhythm, just a little bit different notes. Here it's F sharp, E, F sharp. Then we go back up to that same B, C, B. Fourth measure, we're going to deviate a little bit from this rhythmic pattern. We're going to go one and two, three, four. Okay, so just that, F sharp, B, F sharp. Okay, now the next line down is actually going to be the same as the first four measures we just covered. So let's go over that. It goes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So, once again, once you learn the first four measures, you've got it for the next four. Now, the second half of this whole section, the third line down is where it starts, we change our pattern here a bit. We can see that the notes and the rhythms change. So let's figure this out now. We're gonna jump up with our fourth finger to this E, and then play a B with our thumb. Next measure, D, and then thumb. Next measure, F sharp with our pinky, and then thumb on B again. This time, same F sharp, but thumb's gonna reach down to A. And then next line down, pinky reaches up to a high G. Three on E. Next measure back to G, this time two on D. Next measure, F sharp to D. And another F sharp to D. Okay guys, why don't we try this, but at a slower tempo than normal. Let's do this at the slow tempo first, then we'll speed it up to full speed. One, two, and three, and go. One, two, and three, and four, and. One, and two, look ahead. Rest. Four. Head, jump up. One and two and. Thumb down to A. Look ahead, pinky up to G. F sharp. And again. All right, there's 100% at the slow speed. Take your time with that if you need extra practice, but when you're ready, let's go ahead and go to full tempo now. One, two, set, go. Hey, okay, so we got 100% for the right hand now too. That means both hands are down on their own. The final challenge for this video is to put the hands together. You remember the left hand four measures from the intro. Well, the right hand section was a lot longer. So the left hand now we're gonna have to loop and repeat underneath what's happening in the right hand. You guys ready to try it? Don't forget when we're done with this video, there's a free trial of the Playground Sessions interactive app and I know you guys are gonna love it. It grades you as you play. We got the full song in all different difficulty levels. For songs in all genres, it's pretty great. So tap this card above that says, what are you waiting for?
learn more. But guys, let's wrap this video up together right now. We're going to put the hands together slowly, and then we're going to speed it up. Here we go. One, two, set, go. Okay, guys, good job. There's the slow tempo. A lot of syncopations there, right, between the hands, especially in that first half. So take your time. But when you're ready, let's go ahead and wrap it up together now. Full speed. Let's do it. One, two, set, go. Yeah, we did it. Amelie, if you're watching and you learned something from this lesson, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and maybe give a comment what you liked the most. You can write it in French if you like, although you heard that my French was not the best up front if you heard me try to pronounce the name of this tune. Uh, but either way, guys, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, let me know. If you'd like to see something done differently or better, I always welcome constructive criticism as well. I'm just trying to give you guys the best piano lessons on YouTube. Let me know if you think we're doing a good job. I'm Phil, and you're watching Playground Sessions. I'll see you guys for the next video lesson. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right, guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.